up guys, Zachtech12 here and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I got something to say. See, I did the Battle of Hyrule Field off of camera. I was able to do this quest which required Hyrule Herbs. That's just how I say it because saying Hyrule Herb is just very difficult for me to say. It is meditative training. It's basically a shrine in tier that basically lets you practice with all the different characters. But there's something else I got in the there. Koroks. You can actually see the map uh, as to where they are. Um, of course, the yellow one. So you could just you could you could just pause the video. So let's actually head into the Gerudo Desert and start going. I I died I died on t this is my fourth attempt recording this. You see, I did that. Um, you know I'm feeling a little bit chilly today. You know we're heading to the Gerudo Desert. I still just love how good. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. So here's something I gotta say about the Gerudo. Of women. In Ocarina of Time, I think it's Hyrule's story specifically that mentions it. It says that the Gerudo, roughly every hundred years, have one male child, which will grow up to become the king of the Gerudo. Of the Gerudo. Was the clear so why, in both beast. this game and Breath of the Wild, do... Zelda knew Do the Rosa, Gerudo have female leaders? Close relationship with the late is it something that changed Hyrule. during the 10,000 years? What is it? I think this is why we start uh, seeing um, with her party uh, tone, darker skin-toned Hylians. Since I, I think that is part of the reason that we can... An unexpected turn. So we are headed to the Gerudo Desert and... um. It is very obnoxious to take down these Gerudo because they require like three spins. Like, like, cause yes, the Gerudo are currently attacking us right now. Ah. Why? Why are the Gerudo attacking us? Bagosa will surely be able to explain everything if we can reach her. So yes, um, my biggest priority is obviously staying alive because if I die, I have to redo things. And I don't want to redo things. So, okay, Gerudo Captain. Oh! Glory Rush! Three point smash, let's go! Ah, oh, yes. How are you still alive? I got a soup ladle. I got- I got a soup ladle. There is an electric wizard over here that I kind of want to kill. But there's this, um, you know, that's closer to the town. Let's go with the electric wizard up first. Um, I kind of want to wait for him to do the, uh, bomb attack. Like, when I, when I say the bomb attack, I mean the attack that I can just completely stun him with, with bombs. And that's the one I'm talking about. That's what I usually refer when I say a bomb attack in this game. Not referring to me specifically, I'm referring to how the enemies will be disarmed. Or just stunned. That, that's usually what I'm referring to when I say, like, bomb attack or something. I know it's weird, but that's just usually what I refer to. And I also forgot to mention that, um, just like in my... Uh, yes, I am committing to this, um... <coughs> Order of Mifa Urbosa Rivali Daruk, just like um, how I did the Divine Beasts in my original Breath of the Wild playthrough, which were Varuta, Vanaboras, Vameto, and Varudania. See, Varudania was kind of a special one because um, for most of the playthrough, I actually pretty much just ran around getting tons of shrines, and then I just happened to stumble across Zoro's domain and kind of like, oh, I'm actually in the range of a main quest. Might as well actually start going there. And then I kind of just, um, after going through it, I kind of had some fun because it was like a, 
a huge break. It was it was closer to an actual dungeon, which um, I, I still don't think the Divine Beasts are really that good of dungeons. I still think Hyrule Castle still takes that priority of being a better dungeon. For um, yeah. So yes, th see that little, um, that red square is an outpost that we need to take. Um, once we get close, to objective Marco will appear. And there are a couple Gerudo in there that we need to take down. Like a couple Gerudo captains to be more, to be, to be specific. So the Gerudo captains, I'm gonna wait for them to appear. Well, that is some desert. Some desert wind. Lightning. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm dying. Let me heal. You point smash, let's go. Here we go, I leveled up. Let's do a spin attack. 100 KOs. Magnesis. Okay, um, <laughs> that is the weirdest way to do damage. There we go! I love this combo. Alright, so Yeah, that that's what I was that's what I was that's why I wasted Oh, oh, there's actually another one. Alright, um Alright. You are dead. There's still a few more Gerudo in here. I think the subtitle that Mifa actually had, um, now that I've actually seen Urboza's subtitle, which, because, you know, I made it at least that far, it actually means healer. Considering, um, I actually understand, um, what a Tempest is, because that is, um, Urboza's subtitle. She's a Gerudo Tempest, according to the game. So yes, there are a couple more Gerudo captains outside Gerudo Town. All right, there we go. Oh hey, I don't like how you can sometimes only target onto like the big enemies. There's a Gerudo captain. Actually, let me, um, let me focus on her first. Hey, these guys are, um, these, um, oh no, I don't want to be sexist. Oh, oh no. It's not like guys is nowadays a neutral term or anything. That, that, I, that was just me venting about something random. Uh, sorry about that. Let's, uh, let's just keep, um, uh, slashing away. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, so we're dealing good damage to her, even without the weak point smash. Ooh. All right, we're, so we're, we're, we're whittling her health down. Let me heal. There we go, she's dead. Right, so okay, a Lizzle Boomerang. All right, so gotta kill. Okay, so we got 200 KOs, and the problem is, is that um, Urbosa unfortunately only starts at level five, while I am Link currently at level 17. Do you see why that is a problem? 
because the recommended level for this is five, but I set it on hard difficulty. Like, very hard difficulty, like the max difficulty possible. All right, so all of you must die. Spin attack you to death. Remember, my policy is to leave no survivors. So there's another Gerudo captain over there. Um, let's let's throw some bombs at her. Okay. Um. Ooh. Ow. Okay, so now let's, uh, okay, weak point, um. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, back away, back away. Weak point special, let's go. There we go, she's dead. But you're not dead. Alright, so... There's Gerudo Captain over here. Press A. Do a good spin move. Okay, um, she's gonna do speed- okay. Ooh. Okay, spear move. Weak point smash, let's go. I, I say that every time I get a weak point smash. I just say weak point smash, let's go. Every single time. So that is all the captains, and now it's just the basic Kabuto. A tree branch. The most powerful weapon in all of Zelda canon. The tree branch. Right? Gotta keep, just gotta keep doing spin attacks. It is the safest way to kill them. Because it kills a bunch of them at once, but also not, it, it, it damages and knocks back a bunch of them at once. And I hope Link will be able to level up soon. Okay, so we got 300 KOs. I don't know if I, I probably should have warned these, but um, I guess if you were looking at the video tie, the, the video length, because I know this video is going to be long, just by the fact that it is, is a main quest, and I've recently, you know, taken up the whole uh, no survivors policy. Okay, so you're not allowed to survive. There's nothing beyond these parts of the desert, by the way. So, Zelda is kind of just chilling where I killed the, the electric whiz robe. You know, maybe I could actually use her help. Um, Zelda, could you come over here? Could actually use your help. Let's get in the center of all these Gerudo and do a big spin attack. Okay, so why is it that uh, attacks that look like they should hit behind and in front, like the special attacks, only hit in front? Why is that? I, I really want to know the answer to this. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the game developer's name, so I'm not even going to try. Thank you, Zelda, for helping me out. head into the main town itself because it's finally time because we killed every last Gerudo. We committed Gerudo genocide. Let's just throw some bombs just to be safe. All right. 400 KOs. Oh, there's a Gerudo captain that I need to kill. Okay, let's just press A. I mean, I already got... I mean, the Garuda Captain's right there. He's gonna be stunned. 
All right. All right. We point smash. I mean, because I... Yeah, it does damage surrounding Gerudo as well. Spin. So let's head into Gerudo Town. Where there's even more enemies. Where bombs will make short work of those. So we gotta capture this outpost and then head for Obo Urbosa. Oh, thank you. I got to actually got some food. You know, I actually kind of want to save this electric stuff for um, the enemies that will appear afterward because, um, you know, I said I reached Urbosa, obviously. So I know what those are. I'm not going to tell you because um, I don't want to spoil, although it's probably very obvious if you've played Breath of the Wild, like the original Breath of the Wild. It's probably very obvious, but I'm still not going to do it just in case. Oh, well, she's dead. There you go. Let's, gra let's, grab, the let's grab this little crate. Also, the goddess statue is still here. Even after 100 years. Hello, Gerudo ladies. Hi, ladies. How we doing? Oh, uh, you're all dead. I'm sorry. I, I guess you can't really respond at this point. <coughs> Alright, so... I definitely am going to need to work on Urbosa. Specifically because she's such a low level. Compared to, say, Link or, um, well, just Link, because um, ever since I unlocked that military training ground, everyone can pretty much be at the same level as long as I have enough rupees, which I do have enough rupees. Okay, so I guess I just have to head for Urbosa, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. I, I unknowingly walked into a cutscene. So, yeah, Gerudo Tempest. Why? What are you doing? Oh, great, there's a vacuum cleaner. Wonderful. Thwarting your destiny, of course. Mm. <gasps> Princess Zelda. So I that wasn't the real Urbosa, because you could see her in the background for that one, like, second or so. Not exactly what I expected to find. Urbosa? I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> I'm not. I just breathed out. I just realized I just breathed out my glasses and fogged up for a sec. <laughs> yep, 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 the, the Yigar are the enemies. You've got some nerve thinking you can go toe to toe with Master Koga! Top banana of the Yiga clan. I'll show you. <laughs> Me excluded, of course. <laughs> I still find that line hilarious. <laughs> this egg is not as big as we thought it was gonna be. So yes, we can fight as Urbosa now. And we can hold down ZR to charge up our electricity. So, m our main concern is going to be the Yiga Blade Masters. Because those guys are the strongest of the bunch, obviously. Yeah. 
I, I, I barely think I can move. Okay. Okay, wow, our Bosa seems to be a lot shorter than other Gerudo. <laughs> I mean, look at her. I mean, she's not that much shorter. So, um... So yes, these Yiga Blade Masters. Okay, so that's what I gotta avoid! Oh, look at her Gerudo Glider! It looks so cool! Ooh. Let's uh, let's use Magnesis now. Bad idea. Cause um. I do. Okay, well, heal. Well. Oh wait, I forgot we can uh, strike him with lightning. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, let's heal again. Strike him with lightning. Weak point smash. So, okay, so he's dead. Um, no, no, not yet. Now he's dead. Of course he dropped Mighty Bananas. What else would he drop? It's, he's a Yiga clan member. Alright, so... Um... Is that a trebuchet? I think that's a tre... Oh, there's a Korok. There was actually... I, I just remember there was actually a Korok I forgot on the way that I found beforehand. The vacuum is still going, but let's actually head in and hope we don't die like I did last time. Oh yeah! So I gotta basically just charge up her um, electric- okay, no, um... Perfect. So I guess this is Urbosa's gimmick. I kinda get her now. Okay, more Yiga. Okay, now that is a pretty broken combo. And I love it. So, okay, the Blade Master. So, hey, Blade Master. Let's strike you with our Bosa's Fury. Alright. Plus repeatedly. Oh! Oh, that was a close dodge! Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I, I heal. Okay, stasis. So there we go. Okay. okay, weak point smash, let's go. I need to stop saying that. I need to say something different. Okay, so, um... Weak point smash, yay? So what did you give us? Ancient memory part. Hey, uh, so you guys are kind of just uh, beating the beating the living out of them. I basically kind of did self censoring because my parents are home. Okay. Oh, flurry rush. Okay. I'm dead!
Okay, so I'm roughly back to where I was before, but I just realized something. Um, Urbosa's gonna need some some help. Okay, hey, uh. All right, let's go. Perfect. Okay, um, let's, okay, plus repeatedly, there we go. Um, uh, hey, uh, Link. Ooh, that was a close one. Glory rush. Stasis. There we go, perfect. We point smash. There we go. The town is secured, but the but the Yiga clan is still an impending threat. There's a beast in the north that will keep them busy if we can lure it out of hiding. Head for the targeted position. There's still tons of Yiga clan members in the desert, so. I'm gonna head back to playing as Urbosa because um, the main threat, the Yiga Blade Master, is dead. Oh, yeah. Seriously, I don't like how much damage sponges these guys really are. Alright, let's go. They're dead. So th th this over here is where the Korok I was talking about, as well as a rare um, upgrade of Zelda. For, of, of Zelda. For, okay, so there we go. Ancient memory part. That's what I was talking about. So Link and Zelda are headed in complete opposite directions. I think that's typical of the NPC AI. Ooh, ooh. One, two, three. So, um, one, two, three. Okay, so it's one, two, then X, X. Y, Y, X, X. Okay, kill them off. Charge up. Perfect. Because there's some other th places in the desert that, um... I think we'll actually explore eventually, so let me actually just head back over and, uh... Let me... Let me order Zelda to come over to... This location, to Link. All right, so I'll see you when we get there. All right, so we're on the other side of town, and apparently there's another Korok just right there, just, just laying there in plain sight. Another Korok. Hello. So at least we got another apple so we can heal her. That's good. Okay, so there is the, um... Oh, Red Pacoblins! Oh, that's gonna be easy. Right, 600 KOs, so I can get... Okay, so... Hello. One, two, the X, 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 X. 
Charge up. Perfect. So red becomes are much easier for me to deal with as they are weaker enemies. All right, let's. Ooh. Okay. Slice. Slice you. You know, all of these um characters just makes me really wish that they were in Smash, because Zelda doesn't really have a lot of representation in Smash, and I think um Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity is actually a good way to start bringing some of them to there. I kind of want to explore around, see if we can maybe find some Koroks, maybe some food, maybe some loot, something around those lines. Because you know how much I love those things. That's a Korok. That's just a Korok. Hello. Another Korok. I hate Koroks. Okay, we have... Oh, uh, that is a lot of Yiga. Let's just press A. Let's just Urbosis Fury all of them. Okay. Stasis. There we go. Ooh. That still actually did it, though. That was weird. Oh. Oh, that was close. X, Y. Let's okay. Let's just strike him. That, that's gonna be better for us. Okay, weak point smash. There we go. Okay, there we go. One, two, then... Huh. Okay, um... So, I hope that she'll be able to level up soon, because she really needs a level up, like, more than any other character in my party. Like, the other characters, they just don't need a level up at all. Like, but Urbosa, she needs multiple. This is just to keep her... Okay, let's charge up our electricity. We're now at full charge. Red Bacoblins. There we go, 700 KOs. Ooh, 705 KOs. Let's charge up the electricity. Perfect. So now we can head back in this direction. I also prefer this zoomed in now. Okay, they just spawned in nowhere. Um, I think Link will be the best to uh, deal with these guys. Actually, I'm just gonna head over to where Urbosa is. That is a lot of enemies in our way, um, and we are going to have to fight them all. Okay, so Urbosa is kind of going crazy right now. Very much. Okay. Ooh. Faces. An explosion or two may attract its notice. So, oh, hey, a head ass is playing Smite again. <laughs> common theme of these videos, just head ass playing Smite. It's it's very common to see this, this person. Okay, so we got a Gerudo Scimitar. 
I don't think that'll be better than um, Urbosa's Scimitar of the Seven. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, the Scimitar of the Seven. Just like um, how the Traveler Spears weren't better than um, Mipha's Lake Scale Trident. Defeat the Yiga Clan using remote bombs. All right. Hey, Urbosa. You doing good? You good? That is a lot of Yiga. And this is something we need to spin attack. There are so many of them. Okay, move around. Okay, so I guess Rumble Bombs is the good way to go. Let's use Rumble Bombs. Um, Zelda? We're gonna need ya. K, X, X, Y, now this. X, X, no, it's X, X, Y to the bomb. Okay, blow them all up. Success, any moment now. So a cutscene starting. Oh, it's the Mulduga. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so the Mulduga. So now we have to fight the Mulduga. I almost pity the Yiga scum. <sighs> Protect your chief, you Nimrods, or do do you want me to croak? The enemy is losing momentum. We must encircle them now. But apparently, um, encircling means something completely different to me because um, capture the outposts. Um. So uh. Urbosa, you head here. One you like being the, you like being the Yiga's fools? No, show them the might of the Gerudo. Forward, everyone, make the Yiga clan pay. So we got a traveler sword. Gerudo captains are help, are moving to help Zelda. So that means they're moving toward me specifically. There's a chest, a ruby. Oh, great. Oh, no. There's loud sounds coming in the background. Oh, great. I, I really wish I just had my own little room where I could keep to myself. Like, that, that actually fit my, like, TV and all my stuff. But my, my actual room doesn't fit all that. It's uh, way too small. Let's move around and uh, check around. Because I kind of want to find out where Link was going. So the Mulduga is over there. We'll kind of just deal with the Mulduga later, I guess. Seriously, it is kind of disorienting, um, because... Okay, so, um, Link's over there fighting with in the Arbiter's Ground, I think. I think we're in the Arbiter's Ground. Yeah, there's some Yiga down there. So it's X, X, Y. X, X, Y. And there we go. No, um, Link. I'm switching back to Link because he's about to level up anyway. Okay, so they're dead. What's actually down here? Hmm. I'm curious. Oh, there's a Korok. 
as I expected. Oh wow! I think I just gotta bomb it. Wait, is it invincible? Um... Do I need to stasis it? Okay. Okay, so it's not enough, so X, X, Y. Hmm. Cryonis? I think it's just programmed like this. So what if I go super far away from it? But maybe if I go farther away. Those hits just don't even register from that far. Maybe Zelda will have better luck. Oh, she's a oh she went to go fight with her Bosa. Oh, that's bad. That's that's not good. That is a lot of Yiga. Hello there, everyone. Have you ever witnessed a spin attack like this? Okay, so now we gotta go head out and help Zelda. Let's throw some bombs. Level up! Spin attack! I too, I too will perform my swarm duty. There we go. That is a lot of kills. There we go. Ooh, electric. Okay, just a giant Giga foot soldier. Really, not even a Giga blade master. Here we go. Let's get swipe. I, I tried to think of something in my time where I could, um, hey, uh, what is something I could say instead of weak point smash, let's go. Uh, that was the first thing I came up with. That's why it's so terrible. Okay. Hello. There's one more, and I must kill them. I don't have any healing items. I'm basically gonna wait till I have healing items, then I'm just gonna give them all to Urbosa. Cause she really needs it, as well as um Zelda doesn't really need it that much, um, but she could be useful. Oh, there's a healing item. Let me switch to Urbosa. There we go, she's healed. I still love her Gerudo Paraglider. Oh, that is cool. Okay. Hey, Red Bacoblins. Have you ever liked getting murdered? Um, because I have been serving a new murder dish absolutely free. I am seriously running out of things to say. Yummy, yummy rupees. They're delicious. Because it looks like I'm eating them for some reason. So there's some blue boys. X. There we go. Ooh, another. Ooh, more apple. Okay. There we go. 
Charge up. Perfect. It takes forever for her to charge up. All right. Yeah, there's just a basic blue bacoblin. And so they almost be vanquished. Perfect. Let's uh let's get rid of some of these guys. Perfect. Now let's Urbosis Fury these boys. 1,000 KOs. Now they're all dead. Alright. Okay, can you just die, please? There you go. So Urbosa's almost at, Ur yeah, Urbosa's almost at level six. Wait, where's there someone? Hey, there's a blue bacoblin. Also, what are you doing, Link? I think this level was even longer than Zora's Domain. Like, Octo Rocks. Oh wow, they deal tons of damage. They're fighting against a rock. Actually, if I remember correctly, most of the Octoroks in the desert in Breath of the Wild are actually um, treasure Octoroks because they because there's no rocks in this desert or bushes or really any water or a lot of things to be honest. In fact, in Breath of the Wild, Gerudo Desert was my least favorite area because of how much sand. And no, I'm not even memeing. That is, I literally just do not like it simply because of the sand. Because it slows you down. Okay. Um. All right. So I could easily just recharge it with an Urbosa Spear, right? I could just recharge it. Let me try. Perfect. Could you could you please help me kill this thing? So I think we're almost there. Zelda's taking that outpost. Ooh. They're okay. They're dead. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to, um... Yeah, we are gonna need to go there eventually. Might as well go this way. Giga Blade Master. Ooh! Okay, so I got the heal. Ooh, out of the way. Ooh, gotta kinda dodge right through it. All right. Okay. Everyone, okay, stasis.
Okay, I'm just gonna go back to saying weak point smash. Let's go. It's just much more convenient for me. Oh, wow. All right. All right. This is the most obnoxious thing in the world. Like, these levels, I think, are, I think they just keep getting longer and longer. There he is. I was wondering where that last guy is. There you are. All right. Let's head down here because there are some Yiga or some enemy. Well, there's the Coblins. I could just kind of press X and the Coblins die. Not the blue ones, though. They require a bit more finesse. Like this. Let's just Urbosa's Fury. Oh, yes. Hello. Okay, slice them all together. Charge. Okay, I'm just like stupid bored and I kind of just want to get this over with. I think I might actually have done this into multiple parts, like this single level. Kind of just cut it up afterward and if it ends up being like, like a lot more over an hour. Definitely gonna do that. Okay, just uh, zap him. There we go. Oh, there's still some more. There's there's ego over here. Ooh. There we go. Oh, you're you're still alive. You're not alive anymore. Oh, those are the Hylian soldiers from the very start of the match. No, or level. Why did I just waste that? Probably should have used it for when I actually need it. Alright, so let's head back over here. Take out these Yiga boy. Oh, there's there's some Yiga down here. Okay, um. Yeah, I think these are the only Yiga that are all the way down here. Or just... Yeah, they are Yiga. I was like, what are they? I couldn't see that very well from afar. Ow. There we go. It's a good kill. Hello. Okay. One more. There you are. Got to charge up. Okay, so the thing is, is that I'm pretty sure that they intended this to just be kind of rushed through, ignoring most of the enemies, but I'm just not the type of person to do that. Okay. There we go, charge! Let's, let's get the rest from these Bacoblins. More red Bacoblins over here. Oh, there's some Lizzlefoes. Things are getting interesting. Not real. Oh, they're electric Lizzlefoes. See, this is what I was saying about the electric Lizzlefoes back in Zora's Domain, because 
Electric Lizalfos usually spawn in the desert or in the Pharon region. So how do they make their way over to Zora's Domain? Oh, there we go. Okay. Dead. Okay. Okay, that little post is still alive. And remember, my policy is leave no survivors. Charge this up. So I'm actually going to use it all up before I use my Urbosis Fury. Because you know that charges back up again, and uh, I'm definitely going to need because there are. Uh... Yeah, they're, they're, they're just fighting with goblins. Hello. Alright, so. Coblin. Okay, so the thing is, is. I'm definitely gonna need to be cutting a lot more of this down. Just so that this can be somewhat reasonable length. Um, by somewhat reasonable, I mean not at all reasonable at all. Just... There's some Yiga here. Let's Urbosis Fury then. Perfect. There we go, charge up. Nice. Okay. So I think now that I actually understand Urbosa and how she works, I think this would be a lot, this is a lot easier for me. Is there anything in the, uh, in here? Hey guys. Okay. Die. All okay. There we go. Dead. Hello. I cut down on her tree. I ah, uh, great. Let's actually head over and fight those guys. There we go! Alright, so we do have an abort- Okay, Versa- Oh- Urbosa's Fury. 130,000 KOs. Oh, there we go. You, you! Looks like I have no chance but to wreck you myself. That was cool. The enemy has opened the gates. Time to stop these Yiga pests. Defeat Master Koga. I'm pretty sure we are eventually going to have to fight the Mulduga because it is considered an enemy, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Hello. Um, I, I, I... Oh wow, she's actually much stronger in the water. I forgot because you know electricity. Okay. Gonna have to hit him through the wall. So let's go fight Master Koga himself. Anything behind here? Nope, not really. Just some bacoblins. Tons of them, in fact. At least it's Bacoblins and not Yiga. That'll take a lot less time to kill. So... I'm actually wondering what the boss fight with Mulduku is actually going to be like, because... Oh, 
Oh, you're not dead? Now you are. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I think we're coming up on some Niga. Let's charge up. No, we're actually coming up on Blue Bacoblin, but still just as useful. Perfect. So I'm gonna okay, so red bacoblins, let's just let's just let's just herbose this fury though. Ooh. Alright, they're dead. Alright, so um I'm Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure Master Koga will use a lot of his abilities from the original Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure. Uh, 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 he just teleported behind me. I don't think this guy actually knows what anything is. There we go. All right. And I'm pretty sure we're also going to have a segment where we pilot Divine Beast Vana Boris, because it's obligatory. Probably against the Mulduga. Alright. There we go. Give me the cash. All right, so we're going to be heading into Fight Master Koga. Oh, there's a Korok. Just, just a stupid Korok right outside Master Koga's arena. Let's charge up before we fight him, obviously, because... It's an apple. Master Koga. That is a lot of damage. Um... Master Koga is actually very difficult! Gonna switch to, um, Link. Okay. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Master Koga! Dude, you gotta chill! Magnesis. And there we go. Okay. Seriously, this guy is no joke in this game. Okay, those are explosives. Okay, um, Magnesis. There we go. He's in the ground. There we go. Weak point smash, Master Koga. That barely did anything. Are there any food items in this in, in this area? Yes, there is. Master Koga, okay, press A. Spin. 
I'll obliterate you with this next move. A secret taking by my... Okay, so what is it? So he actually does this move. Oh! It's a double master... Oh, great. Okay, um... Is it bomb? Yeah, a bomb. Okay, Magnesis. To fight two Master Kogas. Um, uh, Zelda. Okay, Magnesis. Okay, that is, um... Face. Hey! Did that save me? Yes, that did some damage to Master Koga. He's a beast! Okay, stasis! Okay, bomb. So it's kind of okay. Oh yeah, uh, I okay. Link, stasis. So what is he gonna do? Okay, Magnesis. This game really could get your adrenaline pumping. Fly. So I just moved out of the way of the Cryonus one. Oh, I moved out of the way again. Okay, Stasis. Let's, uh... Okay, now let's, let's not- please knock his weak point out. Not yet. Okay, Magnesis. Cryonis. I'm alive! I don't know how, but I'm alive. <laughs> Weak point smash, let's go. <sighs> um. Stasis. So, that's for Koga means no. Oh, great. All right, so I pretty much made it um, to a lot. Well, Kronos, there we go. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. There we go. There we go, we killed Master Koga. Alright, so what are we gonna do?
How could these losers defeat me? Oh! Who are you? This is actually a really cool. Suga, you're late! I nearly got peeled like a banana! Suga, right hand of the inverted eye. Forget these cowards. It's time to retreat. I think not! Hmm. So what are we gonna do? Okay, um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be another cutscene afterward. Soldier Spear, Amateur Memory Park, Gerudo Scimitar, Little League Scouts and Palm Fruits, oh. Desert Vow Splendor, Noble Pursuit. So we get to pilot Vana Boris. Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit, uh, chaotic, shall we say. Of course, Abosa. We'd meet you anywhere. You know about the Yiga clan, I trust. Sheikah traitors working in the shadows to revive Calamity Ganon. Okay, we pretty much all Those know that. Those lowlifes the wild. have been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. So we're... How long can we stand by and watch them get away with it? No longer, I say. I will pilot this divine beast. You are precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Uh, love their you. relationship. It's it's, it's very cute. As princess of Hyrule, I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. Okay. Can we just get to piloting Vanaboras? Because I really want to just completely um wreak However, havoc, I lots of stuff to like that. You, I will. Just say the word. So, you turned and fled. Is that it? Well, if they hadn't interrupted me... It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. What? Who is this character? Hey, I think I see the Gerudo um, symbol on their back. Well, no matter. They kind of look like Yuga from A Link Between my Worlds. Heart. Show me the future. Oh. Yes. <laughs> the future, as it will and must be, I will not allow anyone to alter its course. Okay. Are we done? Do we get to fly? Do we get to pilot Divine Beast Vanaboris? No, we don't. We're just done. Urbosa, Gerudo Tempest. Things are popping up left and right. Saving. Oh, finally. That has been this stupidly long episode. I might even have to cut it into two parts of editing. See you guys next time. Peace.